that not anymore. This gun rolled his eyes. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a conversation here. He snapped his fingers, transforming Applejack into a giant box of actual Applejacks. Ha! A wound shrieked. Y'all want some pie? That does it. Picking on my friends and taking my cutie mark is one thing. But no one, I repeat, no one touches my sister. The scud only yawned and snapped his fingers again. Suddenly, Sweet Bell and Scooter were back to their normal selves, but tied up with Apple Bloom. Hey, what gives? Scooter demanded. Oh, Fluttershy, the Scooter said in a sensor voice. How do three kids sound to you? Y'all want some pie? You're crazy, Apple Bloom shouted. Oh, shut up. He zipped the elder mouth closed. You beast, Rarity cried, charging towards him. With another snap of his fingers, the unicorn's hair turned green. He made a mirror appear in front of her so she could see. Ah! She screamed. Not again! Hey! Pinky cried, finally pulling away from the rock of the second gear. Leave her alone! In a flash, Pinky got a new hairdo as well. Her cotton, can- her cotton candy coloured hair, now actual cotton candy. She helped at first, but then chewed in a piece. Mmm! She said. Pinky, stop eating your hair and help me take this punk down! Mimble commanded, darting her eyes at Discord. I want to press you to drink cider. Another snap of his fingers caused Cider to jump on her head. Then, with a laugh, Discord stuffed her into a cider mug. Discord, stop it! Fluttershy pleaded. Why are you doing this? Isn't it obvious, my dear? He smirked, lowering his head toward her. I'm the I'm teaching these ponies a lesson on what happens when they mess with the Lord of Chaos. He reached out his claw and caressed her face. Only to have her jerk her head away. What do you want from me? She demanded, her eyes tearing up. You, he whispered lowly. I want you to be my queen of chaos. No, never. Have it your way, then. God save this chapter's long. He gathered the remaining ponies and spiked into the wrestling ring. Why is it so friggin' long? Steel walls rising high above them. This got teleported himself and Fluttershy over the group as the walls started closing in on, on them. Remrash was still stuck in the mug, and Twilight's wings were still paper, making it impossible for them to escape. Um, You still do have Rarity, who still does have a horn, and she might not know teleportation, but there's still a small possibility? Whatever. Fluttershy could not take it anymore. No. Stop, please. Don't hurt... No, no, please, stop. Don't hurt them. Ah, uh-huh. She hung her head. I'll do anything. This god cupped his ear. What was that? Did he hear you over the screaming ponies? Ah, 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 screaming ponies. Ah, Wilhelm scream. I'll do any... I'll do anything, she shouted. He gave her a sly grin. Anything? She breathed. It's me you want. Leave them out of it. No, Fluttershy, Twilight called. Don't do it. It's the only way, Twilight. She turned back to the Chronicles. I'll marry you. I'll be your wife, your queen. And I will never resist you again. I will do whatever you want, and I won't fight against it. Everything will be exactly the way you want. If you could, would just spare them, please. Cross my heart and hope to fly. Stick a cupcake in my eye. No! Pinky cried. Not the Pinky promise! Please, just leave them alone. Discord stared at her, searching for any sign of trickery, but found none. He chuckled furtly. That's better. He snapped his fingers, stopping the walls from moving and undoing the rope. Although, he said, struck his beard, I need some sort of proof that you will hold on to your word. How am I? Flusher started to say, but, she, but he stopped her as, she, as he lifted her chin. How about another kiss? Another kiss? Sorry, I'll do that close to the mic as soon as I s- stop scratching my shoulder. Another kiss? Rainbow exclaimed. The old pixis was frozen f- in place. And would have fallen had Discord not wrapped his arms around her. I, in front of... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he wiggled his finger at her. You said you wouldn't resist. True, but you didn't tell her she'd have to do it in front of people. That's kind of cruel. Well, then again, it's Discord. What am I think? What am I saying? Defeat, she closed her eyes as he leaned towards her. 
Down below, the ponies were trying to free Ramadash. Twilight with Barry pulling on the mug. Pinky pulling on the Pegasus head. Just as... Sorry, that was just Postman. Just as this god's lips were inches of... Shut up, Postman! <laughs> That's cruel of me to say the Postman. I'm sorry, Postman! Just as this... I bet he heard that, and then... And now he's thinking, How dare she! Hoof! And just walking off with my mail! <laughs> I love this word. <laughs> I sound drunk, but I'm not. I wish I was, but I don't forget drunk, because it's a bad thing. Right, where are we? Just as Disco's lips were inches away from Fluttershy's, the mug came off with a pop, causing Rebo to land on Pinky. She quickly recovered and darted upward. Don't you dare touch her! She shouted. One minute, I'm just going to go get a drink. And I'm stuck with water yet again. Water is amazing. No, it isn't. It sucks. Uh, don't worry, people. I'll be going up to get some popping later. But I want to finish this since my parents are out. I don't get much time. This god moved away from his prize and narrowed his eyes at Rainbow. You know, I had just about enough of you meddlesome ponies. He raised his glowing car, ready to strike. Flush, I gasped. Rainbow, this god, don't... But neither of them stopped what they were doing. Promise or no promise, she could not let her friend get hurt. Without a second thought, she pushed Rainbow out of the way of Discord's blow. Fletcher cried out as he was thro- as she was thrown across the room and smashed against the wall. Now, I'm just going to say, how did she survive it? Now, don't you think about anything, because she did survive it. She's, it. It literally says, where does it say again? Uh smashed against the wall how does I know this is the magical world of Equestria but no one can survive it but Discord unless Discord realised at the last minute what he did he um, made sure she didn't die like serious now then again I probably should have said earlier how did Discord survive smashing into a brick wall but that's different that brick wall was chaotic brick. Oh, wait, it's the same. Oh, my thing. No, the castle's real, though, isn't it? I'm so confused. How did she survive it? Seriously. Okay, fine. It's just the magical world of a Equestria where no pony dies. Eee! Oh, God, people are going to be so depressed. Everyone's thinking, no, somebody's going to die. <laughs> I'm an evil person. Discord gasped when he saw who he struck. Oh, no, 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 he muttered. He rushed to his beloved as she slid to the floor. Fluttershy, are you... He trailed off when he heard a sob. Oh, darn, please no. He knelt down to her. Please don't cry, please. Fluttershy, I didn't... I didn't mean... She moved her hooves away from her face, revealing her big, tear-filled eyes. The look she gave him. This look filled with so much horror. So, I mean, so much fear and horror killed him. And I just ruined that moment by messing it up. Sorry. Alright, guys, let's be serious here. This is, this is the saddest time. Not because no one has died. But this is the saddest part of the fan fiction that you'll ever read, well, hear and read. Fluttershy, don't look at me that way. He reached his paw towards her. She flinched and hid her face again curling into a shivering ball but the look she had given him still lingered he gazed down at her and then at his hands what have I done he said under his breath his anger had driven him so far that he had hurt the only thing she had ever he had ever loved after swearing otherwise 
He knew from that look that she that what he had done was unforgivable. Unforgivable. She would never love him now. Even if she did marry him, she would never look at him the same way, nor smile for him ever again, and would be miserable for the rest of her days. He looked at his beloved Photoshop as she burst into tears. He wanted her more than anything in the world, but not like this. This god turned away from her and hung his head. A light emitted from his chest, restoring the points to their normal selves and releasing them from their prisons. The three fillies rushed to embrace their sisters. Photoshop looked up from her hooves, surprised and confused. The Chronicus walked Sally to the farthest corner of the room and sat down. Get out, he grunted. The ponies did not argue and raced out the door. Fluttershy rose and cautiously approached Discord. That includes you, she stopped in her tracks. What? She looked down as the chain of ring vanished from around her neck. I release you, he said without turning around. You are no longer bound to me. Fluttershy was more confused than ever. You're, you're letting me go? Yes. Now go! before it changed my mind. But this god, I... Are you deaf? He bellowed, whirling his head around angrily. I said go! She squeaked and ran to the door, seeing Applejack wait for her. In the blast, the castle had returned to the ground and the force field had diminished, making it easy for them all to leave. Before she crossed the bridge, she remembered her animals and went back for them. She told them she would explain everything later, but they had to leave now. Once they were on the other side of the gorge, Fluttershy looked back at the castle. Her head told her to run as far away from the place as possible, but her heart compelled her to stay. Fluttershy, come on! Twilight shouted from her head. I'm coming! That was the worst, sorry. I'm coming! Fluttershy called back. She glanced at the castle one last time, and then went after her friends. She did not see the... See the uh, and I just ruined it! She did not see the Dracodocus in the tower window. Discord watched her go until she was out of sight. He buried his face in his hands. Zebra's words made sense now. He could not keep her locked in this castle forever. He loved her too much. That's why he had to let her go. He was a fool to believe that she could ever be happy with him. For who could ever love a monster? What? Hey! What? Oh. So, okay. Um... You're probably wondering what I was making those words nice as well. I'm good. I'm well. This ending kind of confused me because I was sort of hoping for the show to run back and tell him that like it's not the end. Oh, I don't know. There's I don't know. There's now there's just like two chapters of um, well one chapter of boring and then another, and then two chapters of really awesomeness. Now. <sighs> Now, to be quite honest, this chapter, chapter 16, is called The Emptiness. And it's not really good fun to read for me. Now, I know what you're thinking. I shouldn't skip chapters. But to be quite honest, we don't need this chapter. This chapter doesn't tell us anything else than that Fluttershy is very depressed. And... I'm not just gonna. I'm not going to like read all this on a depressing Fluttershy voice, because that's that's all we get is a f- depressed Fluttershy all the way through, and one scene of Discord. Now I know what you're thinking. What you just want to continue doing Discord? Oh yeah, I love Discord. But that's not the point. The point is here. It's that you don't really need a chapter telling us that she's depressed. We already know she is depressed. The only thing that's left here is that Luna shows up in a dream and I don't know. I don't... Fine, I might as well read it. Look forward to the boring chapter of The Emptiness which is just boringly boring. It's not because of you, Disney fanatic. I just don't think this chapter is meaningful in any way possible. It just tells us Fluttershy's depressed. So I look forward 